from the Farrah and Farrah Sports Desk, it's First Coast Sports. Hello, everybody. Chris Porter live here in Oshawa, home of the First Coast Buccaneers. This is where our sideline 2022 game of the week is going down. What's your name, ma'am? Terrari Anderson. Your, your son is a? He is a marching Buccaneer, class of 2023. You see how proud she is. Good stuff. So many parents here, as you can see, proud of their sons and daughters. The seniors here over at First Coast being recognized on senior night and homecoming. Let's talk a little bit about the Andrew Jackson Tigers, the team that they're taking on tonight. They're 8-1. and one. They are the district champions. And you're talking about a rebuild and a total turnaround of a program that struggled for so many years. But Coach Foy has done a terrific job, an outstanding job of turning that program around. In fact, they're district champions this year for the first time in 13 years. We had that opportunity last year, and a uh, good Gaston County team came down, and we fell a, we fell a point short. And, uh, you know, we don't want to do that again. So we, we, we're planning on, you know, buckling down and, and really get set for, but we're not looking past first coast. We're not look, I mean that the first coast team will be an excellent opportunity for us to start preparing to get in playoff mode. The first coast Buccaneers, they're five and three on the season. And I was talking to head coach Marty Lee early and he says special teams has really hurt his squad this year. The Buccaneers, uh, you know, always for many years, one of the finest programs here on our first coast, but they've been down a bit and beginning to turn things around. Coach Marty Lee also explained to me why they've been able to have success in 2022. It's been a success. I mean, we came off a bad season last year and the kids bought into what we needed to do. We're not where we need to be yet. But we're getting there in this program. We got the Buck Pride back on the north side, and this this program's headed like where it was, you know, five years ago. And so I'm excited about that. The coaches have done a great job. The boys, the young men have bought in, you know. And so I'm I'm excited for it. So here's a look at where you'll find the sideline 2022 cameras rolling tonight. We'll be all over the First Coast, and be sure to join me tonight at 11:15 for a regular season finale of Sideline 2022. This is what it's all about. These young people getting through their high school education, getting their high school education, being recognized, and getting to the next level. We'll see you at 7 over on ABC 25.